So as you guys know, the first official gameplay highlight trailer dropped for 2K20 today. It initially leaked in China, so I uploaded the Chinese version first. Wasn't sure when the American version was gonna drop. So now I'm gonna do a quick breakdown of this trailer and share with you guys some of the new things that I caught. Let's get started. Starting with the Xbox One logo. Xbox might be the place to play 2K20 this time around, especially considering all the crazy things that have been going on in the community. A lot of YouTubers moving over to Xbox for 2K20. Just like for 2K19, there's gonna be an Xbox One 2K20 bundle. So obviously they wanted to kick this thing off with the NBA dynamic duos going into the 2019-2020 season, beginning with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in LA, Kyrie and KD in Brooklyn, Kawhi and PG-13 on the Clippers, Westbrook and Harden in Houston. Notice Russell's new hairstyle updated. The most recent pic of Westbrook shows him with a headband on. I wonder if we're gonna have headband Russell in 2K20. And of course the Splash Brothers, Unfortunately, Kyrie and KD and Steph and Clay won't be teaming up until the 2021 season. So here we see Kevin Durant stepping off the team bus. Or well, this could be part of the new intros for exhibition games. At 6'7", 284 pounds, we got the number one draft pick Zion Williamson looking brolic as he should be. Look at his haircut too, looks pretty good. I'm not gonna just glaze over this Lonzo Ball footage. We've been asking for new dive on the ball animations. Hopefully this is a good one. And hopefully you don't have to wait till you're sitting up before you call a timeout after diving on the ball. And that is absolutely the Lonzo Ball Z02 sneaker logo. So big baller brand in 2K20? This was taken out of 2K a few years ago. The off ball juke moves. Does this mean we can juke defenders off ball and multiplayer now? So nice to see Isaiah Thomas get another chance in Washington. This is that moving behind the back cheese dribble into a sham god? You can already tell the dribbles have been updated. And I wonder if Kemba's gonna be like Isaiah was before he was traded from Boston. Not sure I've seen this two-hand hard foul animation. Could be something new. Kyrie's signature carry animation. I thought this was only a park move. New wink celebration animation. Zion's signature dunk animation, and a signature celebration. That's Jimmy Butler over Kyrie in Brooklyn, and then over the Spurs like I wouldn't notice. Come on, 2K. I guess I would've liked to have seen a little bit more of a reaction from this bench on this dunk, but I mean, it is Giannis and he does this all the time, right? We've got Russell Westbrook's Rock the Baby celebration. I'm gonna be using that at the park. Now this dunk doesn't really warrant this animation where Anthony Davis is hitting the padding. You more than likely see that after a hard foul, plus the celebration. But it's new and it looks nice nonetheless. We've got Kevin Durant falling into the opposing team's bench. I wonder if they clear out for Shaq. And we got some new celebrations. Look at Clint Capella. And that Bradley Beal funny reaction to that fan telling him he sucks. Definitely hope we can use that in the neighborhood. Is this a new D-Rose layup package? I see Ruffles in the background. I wonder if that four point challenge event is coming back. That was some good double rep, man. I got mad when they took that away from us. That's a default face scan getting blocked by Miles Turner. And is this a new jump shot block animation by Zion Williamson? Would make sense to show him doing it. And of course, Patrick Beverly getting posterized by LeBron James. Yeah, definitely new jump shot block animations for sure. So yeah, that was my breakdown of the new trailer. Sure, it looks like 2K19, but probably doesn't play like 2K19. Gameplay improvements always make the game feel different rather than look different. These are just some of the things that I caught or found significant. If you feel like I missed something, let me know in the comment section, help everybody out. As always, turn on notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. When he talked about the My Player Builder and made reference to how you cannot make a Russell Westbrook, it sounded like 2K has been leaning towards allowing us to create a more balanced player. 
a guy that's not limited to two specific archetype abilities. So that's something that I'm looking forward to as well. Obviously that information is coming real soon.